Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your girl Trinity. I'm back with another video for the collective. We're gonna see what you need to be mindful of, or what and or what's in store for you today, which is Thursday. Is it Thursday? <laughs> Yeah, Thursday, May 28th. So let's get started here. I think we'll start with the Oracle cards this time. I normally start with the tarot, but I wanted to try something or continue to try something different. So let's start with the Oracle deck first. And look at that on the bottom, New Beginnings. I just shuffled these cards a good amount of time. So that's that. But what is it that the collective needs to hear for Thursday, May 28th? What's in store for the collective for Thursday, May 28th? So we have the Destiny card. I'm gonna pull one more. Or two, or three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these three out. So we have Fertility, which is, which signifies the um, Empress card in the regular Rider weight. This one signifies the Wheel of Fortune, meaning that things are um, what goes up must come down pretty much things are making its turn around so um, if you've been sowing good seed then that will be coming in effect for you you might see a little bit of a reward or a big reward today um, for that um, and then obviously the Empress is new beginnings the heart chakra maybe there's some it also oops <laughs> The heart chakra is that bottom energy here. So maybe there's also some um, self-love that needs to be happening here. Because I know that um, the Empress card can sometimes mean, um, can represent self-love. And then we have the throat chakra. So maybe there's something you feel like there's something that you need to speak up about or be truthful about. Maybe there's some truths. Maybe you need to be truthful with yourself or someone else. I'm not sure. Um, all I hear is truth. When I, when I see this card right now, that's the energy I'm getting off of that. And then we have financial and material changes. Number five represents change. There's two fives here, lots of five energy. Well, not tons of five energy, but you know. Let's get to the tarot. And bottom energy here is the Wheel of Fortune. Bam, twice, something's coming. Something is changing for, for a lot of you. I don't, the people that sowed good seed, financial and material changes are coming and it's very positive the ones that may have been a little lazy or mishandled finances or material things you might be seeing some some financial difficulties but with the way this card looks I, I don't know I feel like somebody may have done something shady with some money one of you guys may have done some of you guys may have done something shady with some money and so that's gonna backfire um, not to be negative, but that can be turned around. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe by telling the truth, making things right, paying the money back, or I don't know how you would make that right, but do it. So that way, um, that way, uh, you can make shit right. Look at that. Why did that happen? The magician falls out too. See, you can change that. You can change the outcome of the situation. Messages and guidance for Thursday, May 28th. This one flipped over. This is the Five of Wands. So some of you might be experiencing some conflict today. Um, give or take, you know, these readings can happen a couple days after, a week after. So you may experience some sort of um, conflict in the workplace or um, it, just in your everyday relationships around financial finances is what I'm hearing. What is it that the collective needs to know for today, Thursday, May 8th? Oh, well, these fell out. So we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So maybe you're being told to kind of like slow down here. Maybe your thoughts, I feel like your thoughts might be racing. So you're being asked to kind of slow down. Slow down your thoughts. You know, if there is an argument, go ahead and take a breather. If there is a disagreement, walk away. <laughs> um, obviously, don't do it in a way that's rude if you can like just say you know I need a minute to regroup and be done with the situation for a minute you don't need to sit there and argue or whatever that conflict may be this might even be um, a battle of the mind maybe you're having an inner battle here with yourself but then we have the four of wands which is a card of celebration 
and um, creating firm foundations. Okay, so some of you, for the other half of you that have been sowing amazing, awesome seeds, positivity, you guys will be experiencing some good things. Everybody will. It's just, you know, these, when you read tarot, when you get a reading, it's not, it's not anything set in stone. You have the power to change your situation. So this is just as a guide to tell you, okay, well, this is what could possibly happen, the possible outcome, but there's other choices that you can um, make to change that around. So like I said, if you've done something shady, so to speak, uh, with finances or material things, maybe stealing or, or I don't know, whatever it is, you know what you did, then you're gonna, you're gonna have the consequences and you know what I'm saying? Whether that's just feeling guilt or whatever, four of pentacles, maybe you're holding on to somebody's money that you're not supposed to, or you done spent it or something. Whatever that is, yeah. Some of you might or might be experiencing some poverty or will be experiencing some poverty or going through some sort of, sort of financial, um, not mishap, but financial crisis right now, which I know a lot of us are because of what's happening in the world with that I don't want to say that <laughs> but anyways I know there's a lot happening but trust and believe that new things are coming like with this uh, four of wands and the fertility card here new beginnings are coming you have control over your situation you are a co-creator in your story so get your fucking wand and start manifesting the shit most of all I want to just say focus on manifesting spiritual things that are not tangible for you and then you know you could throw in your your tangible uh, affirmations or whatever you want to call it your tangible manifestations but really focus on that spiritual side and and really just focus on attracting abundance in general and prosperity in in general instead of just oh just material or finances really just yeah however however you manifest manifest but really focus on the inner being right now and then we have the page of pentacles here which means good stuff is coming for you regardless to whether whatever you did right your wrongs if you did something wrong right your wrong you know how to fix it if you don't then you need to meditate on it and pray about it um for those of you that have sowed the right seeds celebrate celebration is coming for you um this could even happen throughout the rest of the week. It could have fall into, it could spill over into next week. But that is all that I have for you guys today. Look forward to financial and material changes, financial blessings for you guys, and just overall new beginnings. I feel like that is the theme for all of humanity right now. We've all been on lockdown and quarantine and we're all getting out now. So it is a new beginning. Hopefully you have learned a new trait or you have changed who you are for the better while you have been in quarantine. But again, that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I'm sending love, light, and positivity your way. Have a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.